welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i am back here in blackpool Check it out, this is the famous mirror ball here in Blackpool and I am back. I thought I'd do a little video for you just to tell you a little bit about my trip and uh, what it's like to be back in Blackpool again, back home at last. Yeah, so this video is really just to let you know that I am back here in Blackpool I've had people all over the place lately because I've been showing videos that I shot last month from here and I'm still showing videos of my trip to uh, Texas as well which I went over there for the total solar eclipse if you haven't seen my eclipse video check it out it's pretty awesome I completely lose the plot on that video I got so excited to see my second total solar eclipse from downtown Dallas and I think the reason why I was so excited in that video is because it was such a relief to see the eclipse because we thought it was going to be cloudy I'd gone all that way to see the eclipse that's why I went all the way over there it was purely to see the eclipse everything else was just a bonus really I was over there for 10 nights and I came back last Wednesday and I'm just sort of getting used to um the colder weather but you know what when I got back on Wednesday it wasn't really that bad it was quite a nice day here and you know um, when, when you're over in America you do miss things and you know what what I've missed most really is a proper cup of tea because you cannot get a proper cup of tea in America and you can't even get well I found I struggled to even get a cup of coffee I went to McDonald's and I ordered a coffee, I ordered a latte, and you know what they give me? They give me a massive big container, like a, it was like a massive jug, honestly, it, it must have had a gallon, if it could put a gallon in it, and it was ice cold, it had ice in it, it was an ice cold latte, and I just chucked it down the drain, because it was disgusting. Now I know some of you might like iced coffee or iced tea or something, but I don't. It was absolutely disgusting, so that is one thing that I am glad to get back here for and I just want to show you something else I'm glad to get back here for I'm going to turn the camera around and show you so this is how Blackpool Promenade looks and uh, as we look this way check this out look we're by the sea it's it's nice to be back by the sea again you know the thing about where I was there in Texas is that uh, you're in land you're nowhere near the sea not in Dallas anywhere but just look at this view now, it's so clear out there. And there's the sea, honestly, the sea is so calm today. There's a massive jack-up rig out there, which is just off the coast of, um, just off the coast of Rill or something. And down that way there, you can see, I think that's Ainsdale down there. The views today are amazing. Yeah, so it's great to be back in Blackpool. And by the way, it was starting to cost me an absolute fortune. So I was glad to get back. Uh, check out some of my videos. Uh, that I shot in Texas. I've got a few more to come as well. I've got I've got about another four or five to come. I've got one from South Fort Ranch. Yeah, so if you're a fan of the TV show Dallas, you want to check out my video. I go to South Fort. Well, I'm just down here by Elma. This is one of the many Elmas that uh, are placed all around Blackpool. If you come into Blackpool, you might want to have a search for all these elmas this one is called vibrant jungle by fiona montgomery they're all painted different designs some of them are uh, designed on like parts of blackpool and i've seen one like a tram so if you come to blackpool between now and i think june i think june they're on to you might want to check out and see how many of these elmas you can find i can't believe i've just got back from texas and there's a car there with a texas registration plate on it is that right Oh my God, that was an American car with a Texas registration plate on it, wow. Yeah, so I've got a few more videos that I shot over 
in America to come yet but I know not all of you are into my American videos but at least I'm back now in Blackpool so you can see a bit more of Blackpool from now on and that's the Hampton by Hilton there on New South Promenade it's rather swanky isn't it yeah and I stayed in a few hotels on my trip and uh, my goodness there was you know most of the health hotel most of the hotels I stayed in were pretty good but there was one motel in particular which was absolutely rancid uh, motel six you'll have to check it out anyway I'm just coming up in, onto the uh, upper promenade and uh, check it out I found another Elmer look at this I won't give them all away which one's this they've all got names this one is called Sprink L by Zoe Rookledge. I think they're all sort of painted by um, schools. I think schools were involved in that. So if you're coming to Blackpool, you might want to uh, check them out and see how many you can find. There seems to be quite a lot of people along this part of the problem, more than there normally is. And I think they're all looking for these elements. You know, just on the other side of the Hampton by Hilton is the Waldorf Hotel. And look at this, it's scaffolding up there. It looks like they're doing a lot of work in it. You know, I thought that that hotel there was for sale, you know. And it's right next to that one that's been boarded up for years and years. The Kimberley. Look at that. So it looks like the Waldorf Hotel is... Uh, being refurbished how about that but no change next door with the Kimberley I wonder what's going to happen to that when is something going to happen with this hotel here it's been closed since 2014 Check it out, the big one. I'm going to have to get myself back on there again, aren't I? You know, someone was just talking to me the other day about the Pleasure Beach. You know, before the charged you to go in there, he said they used to be open till dead late. I, know, I can remember myself. They did. They used to be open really, really late. I think we're going back to when Jeffrey Thompson was in charge. Uh, they used to be open till about midnight. Uh, do you remember that? Let me know in the comments. Now it might look pretty quiet but there certainly are quite a few more people along this part of the promenade I've noticed and I think it must be to do with those elements. It's also to do with Brian House as well. That, the charity Brian House, a children's charity. Let's have another little look out here again. Look at this beach here. Don't you want to be in Blackpool right now? So it's great to be back here in Blackpool again listening to the the sounds of the pleasure beach here um, i will be posting some more videos of my trip as we go along but uh, i've got a few few videos to, to come yet for the next week or so uh, but they will be interspersed with videos of blackpool yeah you know what here's another thing about texas or at least northern texas because dallas is in northern texas it was as flat as a pancake honestly there was no mountains or anything so I'm kind of glad to be back here where we have like green fields and, and hills and, and all that sort of thing. And of course, the sea, you know, Texas, at least uh, where in the Dallas area, Northern Texas, makes Lincolnshire look like this, the Scottish Highlands. Honestly, it's that flat and the roads as well. The roads are dead long and straight. But anyway, I am now back in Blackpool. I'm sure a lot of you are glad that I'm back. The Blackpool videos will now continue and I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.